Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. I'm Gwen. Thank you so much for listening in or watching on YouTube today. I am so happy you're here. Uh, a friend of mine recently shared on Instagram, she saw a photo I shared holding the wee baby. And she just says, Gwen, you look like you are radiating love. What a compliment. <laughs> Truly. That is what I would aspire to be. That, that is my highest self, if you will. And I just felt like truly this baby that has come in is the reason why I am radiating love and the oxytocin. But I've learned a few uh, lessons by having this newborn that I'm really excited to share with you today in a, in a quick episode, my top three learnings from having a newborn. I'd love to start though by into having a little bit of fun. I love like inspirational card decks. And I think it would be fun to pull a card for us. Whoa, pull a card for us today and see what we got in the cards for the highest good of all of us. Okay, so the card says, my attention to it invites the essence of it. Ooh, so on the back it says, Anything you are giving your attention to is an invitation to the essence of it. Saying, I want money, but it will not come is the same as saying, come to me, absence of money, which I do not want. When you are thinking of money in the way that will make it come to you, you always feel good. When you are thinking of money in the way that keeps it from coming to you, you always feel bad. That is how you know the difference. Okay, y'all, that's the message of today. My attention to it invites the essence of it. Beautiful message. And really, it's kind of great because today I'm paying attention to radiating love and really kind of cultivating more of that love. Because when we are at that energy of loving, being a loving human being, it is just miraculous how great life starts to be. Having a newborn it's what been two weeks into the process of having a tiny wee baby. And because of the love that I feel it is a, it has been one of the most joyful, grounded, relaxing, centered times of my life. I truly thought that having a baby would be chaos to be completely honest with you. Now let's be real. I've, I've also learned having a newborn, they sleep most of the time and they're, uh, you know, they eat, they sleep, they have their bodily functions. Uh, and everyone always says, oh, just wait till they become toddlers. I'll oh, just wait till they get older. But right now I'm just basking in the moment of a newborn and very appreciative that he is a happy, healthy little guy. So here are three things that I've noticed about having a baby, but it goes beyond you don't have to have a baby to notice these things in your life. So what the first thing I noticed is that by having this baby, it really has opened up a new channel of love that I didn't know existed. Now, here's the thing. If you're listening to this, you can, you can probably resonate with this. There's nothing external that gives us the feeling. We cultivate that feeling internally when we see the thing. So by me seeing the baby, I'm giving myself permission to open this new channel of love. And what I mean by new channel of love is just feeling like a more loving, kind, gentler person. That's all I mean by that. And you don't, it's just a reminder that you do not necessarily need to have a baby to grant yourself the gift of having a newfound sense of love. It is good. It could be really good to have a catalyst, like maybe pet some puppies, go for a run, get the dopamine hit of um, doing something that gives you dopamine. Um, but just knowing that this is available to us all the time and I've been blocking myself from it is just wild to me. So <sighs> Maybe, maybe holding a baby too can help that. But just knowing that you don't need to have a baby to know that there's a newfound level of love that you could be giving yourself access to in any moment. Number two I learned from babies is their clarity of emotions. Babies have no shame. They go from zero to 100 real quick. 
They go from sleeping peacefully to <laughs> screaming because <laughs> they're starving and think they're going to die at any moment. But then the moment they're fed, they just drop it and move on. Isn't it interesting how we as adults, we it's like a slow burn of agitation and we don't let things go and it just lingers forever. And this tiny baby has reminded me, you can drop stuff like a hot potato at any moment. It's done. It's over. Let it go. In Eckhart Tolle's book, The Power of Now, he has uh, he writes about how he was sitting on a park bench one day. I think this was when he was enlightened. And he noticed some ducks in the pond. And he noticed that a couple of the ducks were kind of getting into a little bit of a fight. Like they kind of got into each other's face. And uh, I think they were like going at each other. But after they went at, went at each other, they went their separate ways, flapped their wings and kept on going. And what he noticed is that by flapping their wings, they were essentially shaking out the energy and going on their way. And this truly is a great reminder for us that if you get into some kind of annoyance as agitation, fight, sadness, we got to shake it off. We got to find a way to shake that off and just continue paddling. I think so many of our problems and our suffering is because we just won't let our thoughts go. These thoughts that become toxic and negative and are just sitting in our brains and we can't let them go. So I am really trying to monitor my own slow suffering, toxic thoughts that come up and say, hey, can we just pull a tiny baby and drop it and see how that goes? So that's my current experiment. And the last thing that I noticed from having a tiny baby is just the level of compassion and Again, love. God, she's such a loving, lovey-dovey gal right now. Compassion for tiny you. Babies will sneeze in your face. They have no shame about crap in a diaper, about getting food whenever they want, two in the morning, five in the morning, every couple hours. And people love it. People love every coo, every sneeze, every burp every breath. They are so deeply loved. The innocence is so pure and endearing and we love them. At what point do we stop loving every moment and start to say, that is disgusting. You are disgusting. Start turning up the criticism and the uh, being so harsh with ourselves and just saying, how could you do that? Like, it's it's just fascinating to me. Um, even I, I found a picture of myself when I was the same age as Liam, tiny baby Liam is. And I was just like such an innocent, tiny little being. And I'm like, what happened? At what point did I say I need to be so hard on myself and so uh, be so intense and critical? Oh. Liam ain't criticizing himself. He don't care. He's just living. And so that was my third little awakening with having a baby is just the level of love and compassion we have for such a tiny thing and how we do not turn that on ourselves a lot of the time. So I have really been aiming to give myself the grace and the gift of compassion, especially in these times when I haven't slept more than three hours in a row yet. So I encourage you to give yourself that gift as well. Just remind yourself that you started as a tiny, innocent little child and you couldn't move without somebody absolutely loving every ounce of you. Now imagine you could bring that same level of love into your now life. Wow, beautiful things would happen. So that's my three, uh, my, my little uh, solo episode, my thoughts for you today. Just remember that card we pulled at the beginning, my attention to it invites the essence of it. Let's radiate some love, folks. That's the only answer. <laughs> so thank you so much for listening. I truly appreciate you being here. If you like this episode, I'd really appreciate it if you left a review or rated the episode or left a comment on YouTube. Let me know what you think and if there's anything that you would want to hear more about. 
Um, and if you want to subscribe to my newsletter, that would be iconic because I'll be gearing that up and sharing lots more tips uh, on the course world coming up and uh, never miss an episode of the show. That's a vibe. So thank you so much for listening. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and take really good care of yourself. 